Hey, hi all, so welcome to my new blog, Explore BBC. So, today I am going to tell the transition from Deccan Chargers to Sunrise Hyderabad. So, yeah, we had like two teams, like Hyderabad franchise, if you see like in IPL, like we had two franchises, like one is the Deccan Chargers and one is Sunrise Hyderabad. So, uh, I mean like uh, the craze was Deccan Chargers, it was more than the SRH. So, at that time, like uh, if you see the Tantham only, like go Chargers, go Chargers, I mean, it was, it used to be goosebumps to all of us and Literally the anthem was fantastic. So yeah, to start off like as you all know that India won the T20 World Cup in 2007 under the great leadership of Mahinder Singh Dhoni, the greatest captain ever India has produced. So then like we thought like, I mean BCC thought that we should have the uh, franchise cricket in our Indian uh, league and then they introduced something called as IPL. So like each, I mean each city based in India, they have their own team and franchise. So they started bidding. So like for our Hyderabad franchise, like Deccan Chronicle has bitted and then the name came like Deccan Chargers. So, literally, I mean, the craze for that team is like literally goosebumps. And even if you remember now also, like, uh, it is like, uh, you would say it is the best team. So, first, like, first year we had like Adam Gilchrist and Herschel Gibbs, Andrew Simons and R.P. Singh, uh, Pragya Noja. So, some of the names I might have forgot. So, of course, our own very own Hitman is also there in Deccan Chargers, like, Previously, before like moving to Mumbai, like he was in DC, mm -hmm. so literally super. And uh, yeah, I mean, the craze for DC was like fantastic. And you can see this bat also, like uh, this is a winning bat of the Tekken Chargers team 2009 IPL champion. So I think this banner is almost went away. You can see it is written here, it, re it has Tekken Chronicle, and like here it is written like uh, Champions DLF IPL 2009. Each and every person sign is there, like Adam Gilchrist, Simon Gibbs, Fiddy Edwards, RP Singh, Rohit Sharma. So the winning team of the 2009 IPL champions. I mean, if you see uh, like uh, if you see the performance like coming to 2008, they were at the bottom of the table DC. So like Royal Challengers were at nine, Bangalore and ten was Hyderabad like Tekken Chargers. And uh, I mean nine after like eight having a dismal performance like Rajasthan Royals happened to won the first IPL trophy ever versus CSK. And if you see like 2009, literally it was fantastic year for both RCB and DC because RCB like they were like uh, like lavishing at the bottom at uh, seventh position and uh, DC was like eight and they they both made to the finals in the 2009 IPL uh, final so literally fantastic and the performance at that time of uh, Deccan Jarrah was literally superb and uh, amazing captains by Gilly and uh, very very good so at that time like even we used to see like Rohit Sharma like he used to ball and I mean the bowling lineup was literally fantastic like Ryan Harris and R.P. Singh, Pregya Noja, so some of the players I forgot here, so Venu Gopal Rao, uh, Ravi, uh, D.B. Ravitaja, so even Telugu players was also more there and Chaminda was, I mean it was a deadly side and it was superb. Finally, if you see like 144 DC has scored, then they restricted RC, uh, like RCB to 131, they had won the uh, cup like uh, first ever tie, like after RR second team to win the cup was like Tekken Chargers, even before the CSK winning the cup. So yeah, then the dominance of CSK started from 2010, like uh, they, I mean, they became the uh, champions of the IPL five times and literally like the rise of the Chennai and Mumbai came. So after that, like Deccan Jarrah's performance was not so good, like uh, 2010, 11 and up to 12, like it was very dismal performance, like very like uh, not so great performance and uh, somewhat like unit was not matching properly. So. And the biggest problem happened is like when 2012 when uh, Tekken Chargers franchisee like they were unable to pay the uh, I mean like they were unable to pay the contract fees to the IPL players so that was one of the biggest uh, problems we were facing at that time uh, IPL team and uh, yeah so that time like uh, obviously like BC has given the deadline like some two two to three months they had given then final notice has been sent then like so many things had happened uh, from the back end like. Uh, it went to the Bombay High Court, so ultimately, like uh, uh, Deccan Charters was removed, and then Sunrise Hyderabad came. So that was like the interesting story because uh, once Deccan Charters was like uh, removed from the IPL, then uh, the I mean to keep the IPL franchise alive, so two bidders came forward to bid the IPL franchise. One was PVP uh, Ventures, and next was Sun TV. So then, like PVP told that they could only afford like uh, to overall IPR per year they could only afford like up to 30 crores then Sun TV they told like they could afford up to 90 crores and then BCC gave the new team 
to the sun tv and then the emergence of srh came so literally super like uh, from that only like you could see the name as sunrise hyderabad and uh, first few like few years like uh, kalanidhi maran was the owner for srh then later i think 2014 onwards kavya maran took off like very passionate uh, young lady and literally she loves her team and even yesterday also like uh, you could see versus uh, csk like uh, every match she supports and every strategy like she works for the team so literally fantastic and very very passionate owner like you could see like one of the passionate owners in the ipl so yeah if you see srh performance also like uh, 13 was not so great then uh, 14 15 like uh, they like uh, they had been to eliminators and then they were losing i think 14 they had lost to eliminator versus rajasthan royals so that was good performance but uh, somewhat they couldn't make it then 15 also they were out 16 was a memorable year for srh because uh, like warner taking over the captaincy and uh, literally srh winning the cup is very very special and literally superb and uh, yeah i mean like that was one of the dream run for all of for all of our srh fans because defeating rcb again like we defeated in 2009 but now 16 defeating rcb like that time it was looking very very good said rcb and uh, virat kohli like we batted like 973 runs orange cap holder four centuries and rcb like they reached it to the finals in bengaluru m chinnasamy stadium their home ground so you can see the passion for rcb team so i mean amount of like uh, fans they come for normal match only is like uh, unimaginable and if you can see the final and uh, rcb like they won the i think qualifier one and they de- directly came to the final and sunrise hyderabad it was not the case because they had to win from eliminator the only team to win the ipl from eliminator is, is srh so they had won from eliminator then they had gone to win the qualifier two then they won the final so that was amazing campaign and uh, then after 16 like uh, two times champions hyderabad was like 9 and 16 like two under the two australian captains one is gilchrist and one is warner and uh, from 17 onwards like it was good like 18 19 they had reached the playoffs consistently so 19 i think they lost in the final versus uh, csk uh, i mean like emergency of, like emergence of rise of csk again so kane williamson like he was one of the great leaders for srh and we could never forget the services of warner rashid and kane williamson to srh so like unfortunately we lost in the final in 2019 but from again like 20 onwards it was very dismal performance by srh again like uh, was the release of the warner rashid khan ken williamson so somewhat franchise had lost its base also so and then like 2021 22 23 20, it was a dismal performance and they couldn't i mean which stand like uh, they were always in the bottom four only and if you see like uh, now now like 2024 like uh, we had a good start like uh, out of four we won the two matches and uh, luckily we could get the great captain like pat cummins and uh, who can silence the crowd at any point of time so the recent example is like world cup only you saw like so luckily we got the pat cummins and yeah hopefully like still many matches to go like uh, almost like uh, now we played only four matches and total i think uh, still many matches are there and so yeah let's see how it goes still 10 more matches is there so hopefully they play well and at least qualify for the playoffs then we can think of the cup so like uh, first step is to qualify for the playoffs then go to the cup so now the team is looking good like if you see like clash in and uh, many like uh, great captains by pat cummins and uh, markram even indian players like abhishek literally team is looking good jaydev unadkar natrajan bhuvi Abh- like uh, team is looking very good mayank markande so there is no discrepancies in the team and it's looking very good so even bench strength is also more and even like uh, telugu player is also playing for sir like nitish reddy you might have saw like finishing he has finished for the csk so yes yeah, so it's good looking good so hoping for the best for rest of the matches so they'll be taking uh, punjab kings in Mo- like in mulanpur i think so not mall eh? like new stadium has been constructed by the pca punjab cricket association in mulanpur so hoping for the best fingers crossed and yeah so one thing i have to conclude by saying is that uh, the craze of deccan chargers or something else like uh, like of course being a hyderabad fan i love both dc and srh but craze of dc like we cannot match so this bat is always special so all the winning captains names you are having here of nine world cup and won by deccan chronicle owner so yes that was deadly team and uh, the craze of dc is much much greater than srh so every hyderabad fan can relate to this one so yeah so that was a simple story and uh, yeah, it already crossed 10 minutes so i'm stopping my vlog
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल जय हिंद